Meet the Saviors. Jake Kerr, owner, Vancouver Canadians. Jeff Mooney, owner, Vancouver Canadians. Without Jake and Jeff, this franchise would have been gone and there would have been no minor league baseball in the entire country of Canada. Are you ready to go out there? Two brilliant businessmen who saved a dying franchise and rescued a legendary ballpark from the brink of extinction. This place was really hurting. There was a strange movement going on in the old park board and they wanted to turn this into a dog run. It would have been such a great shame and to be honest with you, it was very close to happening. And you know, communities are like anything else. They're a fabric of threads and this is one of the key threads in this community. I should do this more often, Moon. Their private playpen is the ultimate bucket list reward for two lifelong jocks reliving a sports-filled childhood that shaped their lives and their future. So my happiest memories with my dad and my brother, it was in the mid-50s and the Mounties were here. I loved Nat Bailey Stadium and I thought it was Yankee Stadium as far as I could tell. The memories and the experiences people have are a phenomenal part of this community. They're united by more than just a love for baseball. They also share a business philosophy and dedication that made them a success at everything they touched. Jake Kerr has an MBA from Cal Berkeley. Jeff Mooney graduated from the Harvard School of Business. But his greatest education came from the rinks and ball fields growing up in Winnipeg, where a struggling teenager found positive role models and a welcome escape from a troubled home and alcoholic father. And I was fortunate there were a number of guys a couple of years older than me, and they kind of invited me to play with them. And I learned through that experience that team sports teaches you fundamental life skills. You have to take your responsibility, you have to contribute, you have to learn how to win gracefully, you have to learn how to lose graciously, and you don't realize as a kid you're just having fun. Then you get out in, in real life and you suddenly realize, yeah, I know where this comes from. Jeff went on to build a successful team at A&W, spending 40 years as president, CEO, and majority owner, building it into the second largest fast food chain in Canada. Jake Kerr was an all-around star in everything from baseball to cricket to tennis, where he's been ranked in the top 20 in his age group for an amazing 55 years. I guess if you'd asked me when I was eight, I would have said I want to be a baseball player. From early on, my father had decided I was going to be in the forest products business, so that's what I ended up doing. Like Jeff, he used the team building lessons he learned in sports to transform his father's faltering business into one of the biggest in Canada. My credo was the same as in, in sports. Uh, I tried to recruit the best players I could find, let them do their job. Half a century playing hardball in corporate boardrooms didn't stop them from using their hearts rather than their heads to make a questionable business decision when they bought the faltering Vancouver Canadians back in 2007. And it was an idiotic thing to do. You know, I'm supposed to be a good businessman. I did a little bit of due diligence, which consisted of walking around the ballpark going, wow. So I ended up paying way too much for it. Two business geniuses like us, this will be a walk in the park. We made every mistake. <laughs> the two veterans did make a lot of rookie errors before wisely turning the day-to-day -day operations over to one of the rising stars of baseball's back rooms, Andy Dunn. They've allowed us to put the ballpark back together and it's been with huge expense, but those guys have never wavered. And to me, that's just a sign of great leadership and a, and a sign of the spirit of those two just very generous giving individuals. Oh, the good old days and the magic are back at the net, guaranteeing fans get truly cold beer and hot dogs, along with a winning team, turned the Canadians into the biggest little dynasty in town. The only Vancouver team to win back-to-back -back championships and be honored at City Hall. Two time. Whereas the Vancouver Canadians Baseball Club is a vital part of the history and heritage of our city. Jeff and Jake were absolutely crucial to the turnaround for the club. Uh, if you have owners that are committed like that to the longer term and to the good of the community, it's, it, that's what creates winners. The awards and rewards are great, but most satisfying of all is being able to give back to the community through a foundation that provides scholarships and introduces underprivileged kids to that cherished game of baseball. This community's really gotten behind it. It's all volunteer coaching, and it's great success, and that's really got to make you feel good. Both Jake and I have been very fortunate in business and, and generally in life, and to be able to give something back to our community means a lot. 
Rogers. Great day for ball in the stands and on the field. And I tell you, what a gorgeous day for baseball and the seas will wrap up another victory. And when we did this, we said, this is not an investment of the head, this is an investment of the heart.